Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Quick Brick Games, where we cover everything LEGO gaming. In this video, we're going to be talking about LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, the big new LEGO game coming out in spring 2021, because we actually got some new gameplay for this game over the past week or so, and this got released in the weirdest way. Now, this isn't the gameplay that we got back at the end of August at Gamescom. This is brand new stuff, uh, again, from this past week, and this got released through a YouTube ad. So yeah, you know when you're watching a YouTube video and you get an ad before the video? Uh, yeah, this actually comes from that. So they're advertising the new LEGO Star Wars physical sets that are coming out uh, this year. Uh, but they decided to put like some Skywalker Saga gameplay like interweaved between like the footage of the LEGO sets. So it's kind of weird, but this is like brand new footage from the game that we've never seen before. Uh, which is pretty crazy. So we're gonna be analyzing all of that here in this video And I did want to point out that this comes from a reddit user named kinetic expert So I'm sure other people have posted it, but this is the, where I'm getting the footage It's just a quick 12 second clip here There's even less uh, than that for the actual gameplay and the footage is kind of low quality because again This comes from a YouTube ad and YouTube ads typically aren't high definition. They're like standard definition. So uh, Excuse the poor quality, but let's go ahead and get in here So at the beginning of this clip we have this straight-up flat image here of General Grievous and uh, uh, ignore where it says evil droids above his head uh this trailer seems to be marketed towards like children for the lego set so kind of ignore that You're, you'll see some like emojis all over the screen later on uh you can see at the bottom right it says graphics added and that's referring to like the emojis and the evil droids text there so just ignore that and the bottom left it says pc comparable with xbox series x game footage used throughout so that actually confirms that all the footage you're going to see here is xbox series x next gen footage which is pretty exciting that they're showing next gen stuff here uh, but yeah, anyway, so there's a look at General Grievous from Utapal from Episode 3. And this looks to be all Episode 3 footage from what I can tell. And in the background, we got some clone troopers. And these look to be the Phase 1, like Episode 2 clone troopers. So that is not accurate from the movie. Uh, but I think that was the case back at the Gamescom trailer as well. And this game comes out, you know, spring next year. So they've got like, what, five or six months, like half a year to fix issues like that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, but yeah, that's what General Grievous is going to look like in the game. There's his four lightsabers, and this looks to be, like, during the boss fight, so that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead to the next little bit of gameplay. Alright, so this is the next little clip that we see here, and this looks to be on the open world environment of Kashyyyk. And again, ignore all the stupid, like, emojis and where it says lightsaber battles. That's not going to be part of the game. That's why it says graphics added on the bottom right. I know it's kind of blurry to read because of the low quality. Uh, you can see like General Grievous is chasing Anakin, and this is the episode 3 model of Anakin before he turns to the dark side. Uh, you can see he's got the cape, which is nice from the original games. You can see a mini-map on the bottom left. And the mini-map does look very similar to how it did in the Force Awakens game, which is interesting. And there's some icons. They're, they're probably going to be collectibles throughout the open world. Maybe they are Kyber Crystals. I'm not totally sure. But uh, yeah, that's the open world map. And you have General Grievous. So there seems to be some sort of a boss fight going on in the open world, which is interesting. All right, so this is the next clip I wanted to point out here in this footage. And yeah, this is some straight up lightsaber battle gameplay. And they added even more emojis to the screen, which is annoying. Uh, but yeah, again, they're on Kashyyyk and Anakin and General Grievous are doing this fight. And you can see a combo meter on the right of the screen. You can see a bunch of X's, like the X button on the Xbox controller. You can see there's like four buttons, so it's got a number four on the bottom, and then there's like a combo on the top, which they currently have a zero combo. And I'm trying to make out like what's going on with the gameplay here, but it, it's very confusing. Like I'm not sure <laughs> like how this works. Like, if is the right side of the screen gonna be like what you're supposed to press? So is it telling you to press X four times, or is that what the player is pressing? I'm not totally sure. I think that might be what the player is pressing, because pressing X four times obviously is not <laughs> very difficult unless this is like on some sort of easy mode. Uh, on the back left, if you can look around the emojis that have been added, uh, you can see some destructible objects. And on the top, there seems to be some sort of collectible there, but I'm not totally sure. Again, you can see the mini map. And yeah, so there seems to be like boss fights in the open world. So maybe you encounter General Grievous like in the open world here on Kashyyyk, and then after you defeat him, you uh, unlock him or something like that. I'm not totally sure what's going on here. All right, so this next clip we have from the prequels again, episode three. This is the space battle content. Like the, this looks to be the open world space battles, which we haven't really seen any footage of. We barely saw it in the tr gameplay trailer back in August. And on the bottom left, you can see a curved health meter, it looks like. At least I'm assuming that's a health meter. Currently, it's at 100, so that makes sense. And you can see some sort of objective on the top left that you're supposed to go to. And yeah, this looks great. This is like third person. This looks like basically Lego Star Wars Battlefront or Lego uh, Star Wars Squadrons, which looks great to me. I, ca I can't wait to play this open world space battle content. And here's another image here. You can see a Separatist droid ship flying out in outer space. Not too much to see here. Again, they have 100 health. This looks to be outside of possibly Geonosis because you can see a big orange planet there. 
And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the open world space battle content. Here on this last clip I want to show here, they're playing as a Jedi Starfighter once again, and they seem to be destroying a Separatist ship or attacking it. You can see there's like a red lock-on icon, and there seems to be another objective there on the top right of the screen, and the top left there's some red icon there's a, a red question mark on the left so a lot of stuff going on here this again this looks very sophisticated i must say like they it seems to be they put a lot of work into it again this looks like it could fit right into star wars battlefront or star wars squadrons in terms of like uh you know the complexity of what's going on here so i'm very excited to see this space battle content and then at the very end of this uh, gameplay uh, trailer you can see like them advertising the lego sets and they just kind of throw in the game on the, on the right there coming spring 2021 uh, but yeah, that basically concludes the gameplay. It's not too much, but it is very interesting uh, to see some prequel gameplay. And again, this was just thrown out on like YouTube ads. So you've, heck, you may have even gotten the ad when you watch this video. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy to see that they're just kind of releasing gameplay like this. And I think this, again, may have to do with the fact that this game was originally supposed to come out October 20th, 2020. We know that from the leak back in May. And then the game got delayed to spring 2021. So this game was originally going to come out like this week or the next week. So it was crazy that we would have the game right now originally before the delay, <laughs> which is a bit unfortunate. So they're just kind of throwing these ads around. It's weird that they haven't released this gameplay on like an official TT Games website or any or YouTube channel or something like that. But yeah, very cool. I'll get what we can take. So, I mean, as long as we get some leaks like this, like every month or something, I think this will keep the excitement up for the game. And I'm expecting like a more official gameplay reveal or maybe a full-on gameplay demo or another trailer at the very least before the end of the year. I think maybe in December we'll get something. So just a couple more months, I think, until we get more information. Then I think the game is probably going to come out in March or April, but we'll have to wait and see. So be sure to subscribe, you know, for the right when the newest content comes out. We're always releasing LEGO Star Wars content here on the channel as well as other LEGO games. We do walkthroughs, mini kit guides, everything. So if you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and dislike it if not. And I will see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.